Welcome, viewers, to another episode of Let's Play Dark Sun Shattered Lands with me, Bezlanir. Alright. Still gotta work on that a little bit. It's kinda... I don't like it. Oh well. What did you want to talk about, Elosa? This is Charl or whatever? Uh, tell me about yourself. There's nothing to tell. A mole's life is as dull as they come. Uh, the scars on your face argue differently. Your charisma is persuasive enough to overcome Charles' reluctant... Charles? Charles! <laughs> He's from the south. Uh, reluctance to speak of himself. Elosa receives 200 experience points. Ah, <clears throat> excuse me. Gonna drink just a little bit of water. New, welcome to Let's Drink Water with Bezlanir. Uh, I guess I do have a few scars, but, uh, I didn't get them doing heroics or anything. Uh, how did you get the scars on your face? Crossing the Sea of Silt, a Templar had it in for me, and the only way I could escape was to lose myself in a dust storm. I got through the scar. I got the scars, convincing a giant to carry me through the silt. How did you convince the giant? I challenged him to a contest of blows, and somehow put him out, but not before his stony fists gave me a new face. Uh, why was the Templar chasing you? I was her slave, and she didn't like the idea of me wandering off. Is that how you got all these giant weapons? I stayed with some giants on their island in the Sea of Silt. I guess they came to respect me and gave me this, these gifts when I left. Excuse me, I must work on preparing my village for the war. Goodbye. Uh... there was some point here uh, about the village. It's like other villages, I guess. Everyone here has felt the slave master's whip and risked their lives to escape it. Uh, how are the villagers doing? Visionary's prophecy worries them. They would have all died as slaves. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Do you think we can win the war? We've got a tough fight ahead of us. There's no denying it. But once you've had... Once you've made some allies, we'll be able to hold our own against Strage. Uh, what will be your strategy against Strage? We'll fight until the army is defeated, or until we're dead. The determination to fight and die is strategy enough. It'll make us stronger than any complicated plans. What is the Dragon army up to? There's no troop movements that have been that have been seen, but that'll change soon enough. Excuse me, I must work on preparing my village for the war. Goodbye. <clears throat> I think there was something more to be done there, but obviously I messed it up, or I guess. So let's go down here. This is the doctor that we said we were coming to see is down here. Uh, so, yeah, all that stuff um, with the village leader and stuff. So this is the town hall here, there, and talking to that guy. That's all... You know, the main story, basically. Uh, Dredge's army is coming to wipe out. I'm not exactly sure. I don't quite recall who Dredge is. I guess he's like an evil Templar or something. <laughs> As opposed to a normal Templar, which is only a bit less evil. I don't know. Armor merchant. No, this is the armor merchant, my bad. But you know what? We'll talk to him anyway. Good day. Can I help you? Yes. Show me your goods. It would be my pleasure. It sure would. point in any of this unless he has something better no none of this is uh, metal chain leg armor it's no better than that why is it 3000 CP if it's no better who knows same AC bonus. <laughs> Whatever. There's nothing worthwhile there. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
So this is where we want to go. Um, let's go up here. To this dude who looks like some kind of dwarf Aragorn. A little ranger-esque. Well, he's, you know, he's wearing green, so what are you going to say? Father Garen. I am Father Garen, cleric of this village. How can I help you? A little two-tone dealy going on there. Uh... I'm here to deliver a bag of pith to you. Oh, wonderful. I have been waiting for it. Lenara, a friend in Gedo Gedron, desperately needs the extract I make with the pith. Will you help me get it to her? I'd be glad to. Thank you. The extract is made by mixing the pith with the concoctions by the wall. When you are done, you can take the extract to Lenara. She is a college in colleague in... Gedron, a village northwest of here. Um, ask your advice. Uh, D. Ketzel's leader. Chal, like most mu moles, is a simple soul. No offense intended. Kornek. Oh, uh, that's one of our party members. Uh, raised from birth to be a Templar's bodyguard, everything he does is motivated by a desire to protect. Uh, what? How does this protect the spirit servant? Oh, it is his greatest strength, though his ah, single-mindedness makes him short-sighted. Sighted. It's, it has caused him trouble more than once. I am just failing at reading text right now. Uh, what trouble did it cause him? Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god. Uh... I have forgotten her name, as Chal does not like to speak of her. Apparently, she was a close advisor to the Shadow King of Nibane, and steeped in the rights of evil. The rights of evil. Um, what trouble did it cause him? In Nibane, Chal's master gave him a girl child to protect, but when she reclaimed the child for a ritual, Chal defi defied her. Uh, defiled her? That would be a different story. The idea of willingly placing his charge at peril was too much. How, I don't know, but he survived the Templar's wrath and brought the child to safety. Oh, that's right, that's right. Um, that's what I was supposed to ask him about to get to that point. Um, what happened to the child? She lives with us to this day. Her name is Katura, and Chal has made her his adopted, adoptive daughter. I do not think of... I, don't not, I do not think he ever revealed her to the whole... The revealed to her the whole story of her parentage. Alright, let's change the subject. That's good enough. Maybe we'll talk to Chal about that later. So... Yeah. Um... Let's see what do we got? Let the uh, pith es es extract. It's over here. Damn it! God damn it! I don't know what the hell you're supposed to do here. Um, let's give the extract to. So now she's got it. Somebody's got it, surely. Oh god. She's got it. Okay. Whew. I'm just kind of afraid that I'm going to wind up encountering one of these famous bugs in the game. Damn it, what the fuck? Uh, screw it. What are you doing to me with this crap? What is this? that? God, you serious? What is the deal here? Why but why make this so confusing? Why can't you just use it? What is the but, take the jar try putting it over the water?
and I got grapes. And I ate them uh, without even looking at what the spell effect was, which is what I meant to do. Well, that was useful. God, seriously. Okay, game, you could be a little bit clearer on some of this stuff. Just saying. Filter device. This is that. So if you look at any part of that, that's what that is. See if you can put this on the filter device. Nope. Doesn't do anything. Come on, you freaking thing. Sometimes you can wind up dropping something on the ground instead of picking it up, which is great. If you want to <clears throat> bug out the game and fail. This is not supposed to be let's fail, though. But you know what? I'll come back to that. Really, I mean, how long do you really want to spend on something like that? Looks like another jar here. That'll be useful. Not really. Let's just drop that. So, uh, let's go over to the, um, ah, oh, man, what a let's play, huh? Uh, you might hear some noise in the background, housemate's coming home, her dog is going to make a to-do. So, our giant slakes her thirst with a draft of cool water. And... Now, do you wish to climb down the well? See, we, she drank up the water, because she's big. <laughs> Don't get in her way when she goes to pee now. No, oh, you had to go there, didn't you? Yeah, I guess so. 